you're, you're back. This is the second time. Second time. We're in an alternate reality times. where we've come back. In another reality, we came back that first time. It all splits oh, there. That, I really we preferred that reality. That could be the apocalyptic reality. We don't know. <laughs> we, this could be it. That could the be it. I don't know. Over. Exactly. Yes. We are back. Austin Walker, joined by Patrick Klepek, Daniel Riendo, and Mike Diver. And we're going to play some Owl Boy, which is Owl named, Boy? Owl Boy. <laughs> uh, the proper pronunciation right. of this. Aren't they from Austria? Where are they? Where's the Den Den Denmark. Denmark. So they say it there. Tell me about Owlboy, Patrick. You have wrote a really big piece about it. Also, start playing. I did, yeah. Uh, I'll start a new game. Yeah, this game uh, comes out on November 1st. Uh, it's been nearly a decade in the making. Uh, they started work uh, on it um, in 2007, conceptually. I mean, I think the, the original idea was it was going to come out in 2011. Obviously, it is 2016, so that didn't quite uh, work out. Um, but yeah, there's a big feature up uh, on waypoint.vice.com. That where I talked to D-Pad, who's the studio that has been working on this for for the longest time, and it was a like you know, it was emotionally draining to interview them. Okay. Because you uh, sometimes when you talk to developers at the end of a project, they're like psyched, they're ready to get it. Like these people are drained psychologically, emotionally. Like it is important to their psychological well-being that this is out of their lives. Right. Like they're excited, but also this has been a weight that they have carried with them for so long. Um, Cause like over the 10 years, like think about 10 years of your life, yep. right? Like especially your 20s to your 30s, like how much happens in that time? It's like, a lot. Literally life and death. And like yeah. this big thing that was part of uh, my story was uh, them dealing like this, these milestones in their life and having to grapple with this one project that yeah. brings them from there to there. Like um, one of their programmers was telling me like, you know, all of his grandparents were alive when this started. He right. would show them early parts of the project, and they're all dead now. Oh, man. And is that so, something that you think reflects in the game in any way? I, I hear that. Not, I, 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 not like, on a surface level. Okay. You know, I don't think you're going to play this in, like, I think it's a, a, a cheerful and optimistic game uh, from my impressions of it. So far. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe it takes a dark left turn about four hours in. Good. <laughs> um, but it's a, it's a uh, Metroid style game. Huh. One of, one of my favorite huh. notes in, in, in an article I've written ever was the, the, a note where I wrote Metroid style game instead of... The one we won't say. Oh, the, the word that shall not be named. Right. Metroidvania. <laughs> um, thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and w so when they started this in 2007, uh, the prospect of making a Metroid style game was a lot more novel. Right. right? Like if you think back to independent, like it was funny, uh, People were uh, hungry for a 2D Metroid style. Yeah. You're not flying. Ten years ago, the independent scene was so different too. Like it was, you know. Well, when Rami, a uh, when Rami Ismail tweeted out um, a link to the to the article, you know, he, you know, 2007. That's like pre him, like pre right. like a lot of what we think of as like the independent exactly. movement. Yeah. Um, didn't really. exist back then, and they started this game then. And part of the problems they ran into was that. Uh, independent development has moved so much in the last 10 years in terms of tools, yep. in terms of expectations right. what an independent game is. Um, and they kept running into issues where they're like, oh, well, this game's not good enough relative to expectations. Right, like, here's the thing. In, in the last 10 years, in like the 2D space of indie games, that's like Braid, that's Elysium, uh, whatever that game, Elysium, Elysium. The, Elysium? The uh, dust, not a dust Yes, nail, or, I know what you're talking oh. about. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful art. Yes. yes. Gorge is also a Metroid style game. Yeah. Um, there's tons of these little games that are in this 2D like uh, a style that have raised people's expectations a lot. And Spelunky. Ooh. Spelunky. I, mean, I know it's not the same no, but totally. kind of game, but it's But in terms, of like, in terms yeah. of like the tightness of controls, in yeah. terms of like the, the way it feels and the way you can expect it to respond to you, yeah. all of that stuff uh, has definitely come up. There's no more just like, oh, well, it's an indie game in this specific subgenre. Yeah. yeah, and I think, you know, talking to them, they just ran into this issue where they let that kind of creep under their skin. We're like, well, okay, if we release it in this state, Relative to expectations, right. it's gonna it's gonna bury us because also what's changed in the last ten years is like let's say it used to be if a game like this if this was released in like 2010 Steam it'd be featured yeah it'd instantly sell yeah based yeah. on good reviews and uh, good word of mouth and being featured on the front page of Steam essentially meant you were going to make millions but now there's like a lot of anime boobs on the front page yeah <laughs> and different ones every day and other you games get buried under i can't even tell so which are the good boobs. anime boobs yeah 
Uh, but it, it, things like the Steam front page are right. no longer a guarantee. Because right. it just moves through it so it moves, There are movies there. There yes. are uh, dozens of games released every single day. Um, so it's hard to fight through the noise. Um, and I think as time went on, this game faced further and further challenges, especially where nostalgia is not, uh, in some ways there's a backlash to nostalgia yeah. happening. Where, like pixel-based games no longer gets you a bunch of excitement. In, in fact, it gets you a lot of cynic cynicism where it's like, I'm tired of these games. Right. Like, in the um, past, a game like this might have succeeded on the merits of its retro styling. Yes. Now it's succeeding in spite of it, or would have to succeed in spite exactly. of it. Exactly. And that's a scary thing where like, you're working on this game for 10 years, you know, you've exhausted your financial and emotional resources, and then suddenly so much weight is on this one game release. Like, right. And one of the things they did was... Also, I just want to say, five minutes ago, you were like, it's optimistic, it's bright, it's colorful. <laughs> none of, <laughs> none of the bad stuff, happening. none of their anxiety came into the game. And I was like, I was crying on the screen on a bridge surrounded by his demons. Look, I consider a good day to be a day where you only cry once good. with the demons around you. So right. I don't yeah. know what your expectations okay. are for life, Austin, but mine are different. <sighs> well, so we're going to see cry three <laughs> times in the next... We got a... Anyway, okay. a long stream, Austin. That's true. <laughs> Oh. I, I like that your name is Otis. That's Otis a good name. That's a great owl. Or an owl, owl name. yeah. No, that's a good one. Again, your uh, your naming uh, job is coming up here. You know, and, uh, chief namer of Waypoint. Chief uh, namer in chief. We could have used you when we were trying to come up with a name for this site. <laughs> uh, so we, yes, my, we could my, have used anyone other than ourselves. True. My very first interview uh, here. You told me what the name was, and I was like, "That's a good one." I don't I, think we cleared it happy. yet at that point. Yeah, I know. I, I think we were just trying to. We were drinking the Kool-Aid. It was close. Yeah. yeah. I was like trying it out. Like part of it was like I told it to people who were in the space and who I wanted to be like, "Oh, Waypoint," and then like, "What's your response? Is it like, mm, or is it like, oh?" And like, I wanted, oh. I liked it. And you gave me, oh. I was like, yeah. This Mike, is beautiful. It's such, a, it's such a fine line on that naming stuff because you know we, had, you wanted something that evoked like technology and communication and what we were going through in the site. But we just really didn't want a video game name. Yeah. You really didn't want Bazinga. Oh, well, well. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk one. about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Bazinga. All right. Bazinga is owned by CBS, <laughs> so. Good. Hey, Glad we know some is. CBS employees. Oh, we met a couple of CBS we employees. We might have been CBS employees. At some point <laughs> this year. <laughs> Good. Mike, have you played much Owlboy yet? I haven't played any of it. Okay. I'm just, I'm just watching and enjoying. Like, like you said, you know, aesthetically, something like this, even five years ago, would have made a bigger impact than it does today. Yeah. So I totally appreciate why the guys behind it are, you know, releasing in this di completely different environment for Steam. And, you know, if, if this comes to consoles, is it going to come to consoles? They haven't said, but I mean, it would. Presumably, yes. if it does well enough. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, they haven't said anything, but yes, this will be on PS4 and Xbox yeah. One. Like, it's, you know, I think they're in a uh, team of, of five, maybe six. So, yeah. like, you know, I think they're just focused on getting this out. And, um, I mean, you know, it looks totally like the kind of thing that, like, you know, your idea Xbox team would be like, yeah, that's neat. You right. Know, we love that. Right. Totally. So, um, so, so I see you're pulling radishes out of the gun. Is this a Mario 2 sequel? Yeah. This, hey, man. <laughs> Mario 2 underrated. Absolutely. Agreed. Agreed. Which, which Mario 2 are we talking about here? Uh, right? uh, uh, Doki Doki, Doki, Doki Panic. Panic. Yeah. <laughs> the Dokester. Mm, I don't think we call it that. I don't think we call <laughs> oh, it that. Oh, that's what they called it in America. Oh, okay. It's not. It's They called it Mario 2 in America. Uh, they didn't call it the Dokester. Uh, this guy at Toys R Us told me, oh, you're getting okay. the Doke. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm not going to come in between you and the guy at Toys R Us. You know what? I got my that's, own issues, Austin. Yeah. That's not an issue. That's an dope. opportunity. Welcome to the doke hour. Ooh. Gonna get doked. That's, we're not allowed to Twitch shows. We can't get doked on stream. <laughs> I, don't think that's, I don't think that's on there. I looked at the words. Doke's not on there. OK. We're going to turn that into an Urban Dictionary. Uh -huh. Submit the doke to Urban Dictionary. Yeah, Let us know doked. what you come up with. We'll check in we'll later. We'll decide which, which definition is the best one. Oh, All right, so one we can read on air. Yeah. So what's this guy got here? Because this just reminds me of the secret of mana cannons. Is he mm. going to fire us now? I think so. That'd be cool. Oh, by the way. Uh-oh, there's a troublemaker. You know when it's highlighted in blue, it's yeah. objective. Yeah, it's important when it's a different color. Is he uh, Getty or Jetty? What, how are we pronouncing oh. that? I always think Getty. I'm looking to you. I would think Getty for this one, you know? Yeah, like the images company. Yeah. Because there was that whole thing about the GIF recently, right? Do you see that? Oh. Yeah, the guy who invented the GIF says it should be called GIF. Yeah, well, he's, and he's so wrong, does Idle Thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, wrong. So. Look, once you release art into the world, no longer yours, yeah. my friend. You don't get to just decide what a thing means. Several years later. 
<laughs> you're all doing it wrong. This is beautiful. Can I just say, as yeah, we're, as we're like looking at it, this is yeah. gorgeous. It's like really cr crunchy, but I mean that in a good way. Like yeah. there's lots of, um, like, oh shit. There's lots of like texture and like depth, but like in a way yeah. that's like really dense also. Yeah, it's it's a uh, similar to like Shovel Knight in a sense where it's yeah. like, it, it evokes a 16-bit like SNES aesthetic, but uh, made with modern technology. Like they don't limit mm -hmm. themselves. Like they do flourishes that allow them to, to make, like this game couldn't be on a SNES, right. but mm -hmm. Uh, you certainly feel like it it's evokes that. So you're gonna sit here. You're you're a SNES. I used to be a Super Nintendo, and then I got I was converted. All right, what are you? Super Nintendo. What are you? What are, <laughs> I, I I grew up Sega. Okay, well that's fine. No. That's right. Yeah, that's he didn't. Nintendo he doesn't, even, Nintendo doesn't, he doesn't exist, even use the word. Well, wait, just talking about wait, it wait a minute. We had a SNES at home though. Oh, she like, said oh so he SNES. did say yeah. SNES. SNES. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not an option. Oh, I also yeah. say, so I say SNES. I'm that. No, I like that too. I like that. I like there's like a there's like cadence to it. I really love. Hang on, you say what? S N E S. S N E S. Yeah, the Super SNES. Super Nintendo. You're saving yourself no Super time. Super Nintendo. S N E S. <laughs> it's just a fun word to say. It just has a good mouth feel. S N E S. S N E S. S N E S. It almost it has it has like a romance language. Yeah. yeah. S N E S. S N E S. It's like how I welcome people to my yes. Nintendo village. You know when you're. <laughs> Welcome oh, Danielle, that's NES. Yes, NES. Go based on. Exactly. <laughs> oh, oh whoa. Again. So this is one of the unique mechanics to, to, to this game uh, is you grab different side characters who have uh, right. uh, uh, different things they can do for you. Like this guy has a gun. I can throw <laughs> him. Get out of here. Nice. Oh, I do enjoy this. Uh, let's see. I, I feel can you here. throw him to his... To his you can throw him off death. a ledge. Yeah, I'm not. He'll, I don't have a ledge here. He'll die. I'll find one. No, he, he just like this man? he cutely comes back and okay. is upset at you. So our secondary characters in this a bit like Tails is in Sonic 2. Then doesn't matter how much he dies, he just flies back in. I think so. Yeah, I don't think they have like a separate uh, health bar or anything. But I, I played the a, an early version of this that is like the first 20 minutes. Um, but this we should be able to go past that. Cool. In this. Yeah. Um, and one thing that the studio did was, you know, over the course of 10 years, you kind of like, like if I wrote an article for 10 years, it yeah. would drive me nuts. Like you would think you're a bad writer, like you're, you're incapable of writing. Yeah. This is what the studio became was they felt they were like literally in, like they had no talent, they were incapable of making games. So they took what was going to be a vacation period uh, and they instead made a game. <laughs> like a different game. Yeah, they made a different cool. game. Yeah. It's uh, like this, this bullet hell roguelike uh, game. Um, and they did it in like a month to prove to themselves we can make something, we're talented, and they published it, and it sold 500,000 copies on Steam. Awesome. It was a huge nice. hit. It proved to fans of Owlboy, like, we're not, you know, we're, we're not losing it, we can publish a game. Right. Um, we know how to make things that are good. And then also it gave them the money to float through the, like, you know the, the next two years. what the name of that years. game was? Uh, Sav Savant something, it's in my, it's in my okay. article. Your article at waypoint.vice.com. Exactly. I think it's wow. like a big slot at the top. It looks really good. Oh yeah, the, sure is. Yeah, that little. Also, uh, hey, shout out to the people. They're probably not watching right this second, but shout out to the, the team that built our website and who yes. did the CMS. Yes. They're redoing a bunch of stuff here on, on the entire Vice network. Uh, they did a fantastic job. It's a gorgeous site, and I'm really excited about using that CMS where I'm I can going just copy a Talixin. That is the most insidery thing we could talk yeah. about. Our CMS. Our CMS. Content management system. Yes. yes. Management. Yes. Got a different word. But I mean, like you know, like I mean, the ability to put things on the site is a lot easier for us, which makes us, you know, easier exactly for us to, to do better work. Yep, that's the thing that happens a lot for us. Is like, you'll, or I think anybody in the creative profession, I'm sure the, the devs of Owlboy have felt us. We're like, oh, I have a really good idea. I'm gonna go do the bulk of the work, or what you think is the bulk of the work, which is like, I'm gonna write it, I'm gonna program it, I'm gonna do the, and then you get to the final step, which for us is putting it into a website. For a yeah. developer, it's like going through QA and bug testing. Yes. Uh, or, or testing for balance and stuff like that. And it's like, well, shit, like this last step is a pain in the ass. Yeah. Uh, and anything, any sort of tools that you can ever have to make that final step a lot easier always feel great. Oh, it's just like improve, improvements there make the whole process easier. I wasn't paying attention to what I was supposed to be doing. I, you didn't pay any attention. We were talking. I'm, I'm looking up that name of that smaller game that they made. Ooh. I'm in this beautiful website right now. Apparently you should get back to patrol, back to duty. patrol duty. So maybe I just leave. It was called Savant Ascent. Savant Ascent. That is the name of the uh, D-Pad's previous game. Maybe we'll have time. Back we have yeah. 70, uh, <laughs> 71 hours and 30 minutes left. Yeah. Oh. We're doing good. Oh. How's everybody feeling? Good. Good.
Danielle sent uh, an email around as our team medic <laughs> yesterday. Team medic, team mom. That's correct. That's, and she Both of those like, things. Hey, I want to make sure you don't like kill yourselves this weekend. Yes. Please get sleep. Drink Please water. Drink water. Drink water. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands a lot. I brought some hand yes. sanitizer and then left it at my desk. Yep. Which is good. Yep. We've got all the things we need. I have gauze in case somebody bleeds. We just have that yeah. in the office. Too. I hope that's Do not we? the case, but I, I like that. I like that. I'm more worried about 2 a.m. Somebody trips on a console and like True. breaks their nose, like okay. falls into stuff. Good. This is the stuff you worry about when you're an EMT. One of these things down here, we find <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, break your face. People are expendable. But not <laughs> this stuff. We got, we welcome got. to America. <laughs> we got, uh, yeah, welcome to our uh, our am country. Am I allowed to say what's down here? Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've photographed we've you know, it. The game the surprise, we, not the console. If we fall yes. on this Dreamcast right now. For instance. That yes. might be bad. For people who don't know, we have a yeah. Dreamcast. It's down yes. here. Oh, Doke EMT, somebody says. I feel like Doke has become. Doke EMT. It's part of the canon now. Doke, Doke has entered the lexicon. Doke EMT. Yeah, makes, ha, hashtag, hashtag Doke72. Doke hashtag right. get doked. Get doked. I don't like to dunk on people, but I love to doke on people. <laughs> It's like a much more pleasant version of it. It really is. It's it's with love. <laughs> it is. Joking with Dunking love. Dunking on someone's just like, oh, that's me. That's, it's Doking cool. on someone? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's almost collaborative. Oh, we're uh, doking. You doked me. Yeah. <laughs> I got <laughs> doked. <laughs> this is what the kind, you, of, this is the kind of joke that happens at like 48 hours in. I know what this happened. Bad sign. We're not a good look. It. We're already in. All right, it. maybe you go up here. I'm looking for the troublemaker. I think. I go up. Can you go up? What if I just drop this dude? Then then you are the troublemaker. Oh. Whoa. Hey, buddy, I don't think that's possible. Mm -hmm. That is a rapid ascent. Yeah. I, uh -huh. I, careful. <laughs> Watch out, Otis. Drop him again. I he's still, he's still smiling. He's that's fine. like that Bible game. He looks game? pensive. He looks like, he definitely doesn't look. Ah. Yeah, he, he looks all right. I want him to be like, ha, huh, yeah, it's a real Whoa. good, a good joke, Otis. Whoa. Stop, Stop doking me. Yeah. It's like the Bible game where you drop baby Moses in the river. And the game is like, ha ha, don't drop baby Moses in the river. I don't know. I you can do it infinitely. It was like a wisdom tree game on the oh, NES. Okay. That, that's oh, okay. Yeah. See, that's why I say SNES. Because I say the NES. I, I say, say NES, NES and SNES or I, Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo's fun. It's interchangeable for me. Where's this trouble? I'm going to check the chat. And I'm going to get told off. Well, the chat won't know where the troublemaker is. Oh, here we go. I'm pretty Here's sure. A oh, that's a, yeah. OK, you found it. <laughs> it was called Bible Adventures or something. Somebody's asking. And <laughs> that sounds right. Oh, look at that. Oh, those owls are up to no good. Are those moths? What were those? <laughs> Is everybody in this world an owl? I don't are know. Are there animals? All right, that's not an owl. That's another type of thing. <laughs> Maybe they're all owl hybrids. Ooh. Hey, that looks like a cockatiel? Right. Is that a thing? It's got no beak. Cockatiel? It has like a button nose. That's like it's an a cute little otter thing. or something. It's an otter. A flying squirrel, maybe? <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Now shit's going down. Oh, Doke Discourse. Somebody said Doke Discourse. I'm glad That's that right. happened. That's correct. Already. <laughs> oh, we found the name for our podcast. Doke, the Doke. The Doke. Doke. Welcome to the Welcome Doke. Welcome to the Doke. Doke. Doke What's that mean? We don't want to get into it. <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> what is that guy? He's up to no good. Oh, He's chasing. He might be a troublemaker, Blue Font. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, Blue Font's oh. a bad name for a Blue, podcast. Blue you think we'll find a name by the end of 72 hours? Man, uh, I feel like 3 a.m. playing a bad Dreamcast game is the kind of time when you figure out a podcast. You're revealing yeah. our schedule. Now you know yes. people know we're going to be playing a bad Dreamcast game at 3 a.m. Or, I mean, or a good one. Eye of the Beholder, you know? Yeah, that's true. I don't think that's on Dreamcast. Eye of the Beholder. Okay, all right. <laughs> wah, wah. Jokes. Look, I'm the dad. Those, jokes that's, that's, that's a dad joke. It's true, it's true. Yeah. Spend too much time around Dan Danielle and you. It's that's, all. That's the problem. Yeah. You're an actual dad. But I'm. I'm pretty dad. I'm, you have three. I'm animals. pretty dad. I have. <laughs> I do have three animals. I don't animals. Think that makes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, okay. Three animals is a lot. I have it's one a lot. dog. It's and a lot like, to take care of. It's true. Dogs especially. Yes. Cats like. I'm not saying. Yes, you have to take care of cats. The cats are pretty easy though. But, yeah. yeah they really don't. Yeah. 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 The dog is a particularly problematic. They take themselves to the bathroom. Yes. You know? It, it's lovely. True. It's so easy. You can leave them for days at a time. And, and they're fine. They'll die. Your dog will die. Your dog will die oh, in a, like an hour. Don't be depressing. It's only, <laughs> only My dog isn't dead. 
Somebody's taking sure? care of him. I haven't seen Jessica's it. taking care of him. Right? Yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah. My, Jessica's my, my, not even one years old I, yet. Yes. She's Look, not even close. <laughs> once, once he's two months, it's time for responsibilities around the house. That's right. Oh boy. You're not gonna run some. All right, what is that? Easy guy? household. Oh, press that button. Oh yeah. What are these? Apple. What do these rings do for you? Uh, I think you get money. What's Zenny? I don't know. Is it Zenny? I don't think so. Zenny is a video game currency, though, Zenny's right? Zenny's a good. Are we playing any games with Zenny in it? Ooh. What video game has Zenny? That is a video game currency. There is a game that I wanted to play but didn't have the time to set up that has Zenny. Zenny in it. Yeah. I don't remember what the what game has Zenny. Somebody in chat says cats smell. They do not if you take proper care of them. Like if you if you have forty cats in a house and you don't take care of them, sure. And cats don't Here's smell. Very strange cat mess there. smells. Right. As so, long as you keep them clean. Yeah, yeah. Like clean up their stuff. They take baths like every hour. Yeah. So they're constantly washing themselves. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> clean up after your cats, kids. Uh, Do you need to throw something? Oh uh, yeah. Can you go get like something bigger? Yeah. Get yeah, that yeah. rock. Throw that rock. Oh through. nice. What's well, good, this. weird guy? Yeah. Is that a mask or is that just? Oh, it's a spider. Is it a spider? It's a spider. I don't like it. I don't like spiders. Stay out of my furnace. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is 80, 80, those spiders cost me $80. Did they? <laughs> $80? Thankfully, I was on the maintenance plan, so it was, oh, you're cheap, good. It, it was a little bit cheaper good. than it was. No, it was 80 It should have been more than that. Oh, my God. Oh. House, having a house is expensive, man. What is that guy that you're fighting? Why you got to fight that guy? To know. Because he's on the screen, so I shoot him. Oh, OK, so sure. Over there. There you go. In Owlboy, the only, the only answer is violence. <laughs> In this cute retro game. Uh, is, is everyone is everyone here Metroid fans? Have everyone played a lot you know, of Metroid I, games? I haven't, which is like a big, like a like, gap in your. Yeah, well, like the thing is, ooh, someone just got crushed. Um, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah. When I was younger, when I was like young and had a Super Nintendo mm -hmm. and was like perfect SNES. age, uh, the SNES, for <laughs> like Super Metroid, I was also very scared of Super Metroid. Super Metroid it's, it's had a creepy game. It's a creepy game, the music. and I was. Yeah, yeah. the music, like, totally. Uh, like this thing is like I think now I would I'm ready to like Metroid yeah. games, but at the time I just wasn't, and I never played the retro ones because I didn't have the uh, fond the fondness for them for Metroid Prime. Um, it would be tough to go and play. Like one and two are basically. One and two. I don't, Metroid, I don't, I don't, I don't think two? you could. I don't think you could. Or do Metroid it. Prime one and two. Did they Metroid H Prime are different, up. but Metroid one and two are like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially one like is just it, it's a very old. Yeah. Game. Yeah. It, it was sort of rebooted a little bit recently, right? You keep not that it. recently. It might have been GBA or something. Did come to Wii U? Did they, they did. They got they HD. Did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you pick uh, it up and The spin? unfortunate pick thing about up. that is that they're all like, uh, oh, I see. motion controlled. Yeah. Oh, right. And I've got Metroid Prime on GameCube at home. Yeah, but I've, I've played it for like good. 10 minutes. It's real good. I, I, it's it's one good of Metroid Prime is one of my favorite games yeah, it's ever. Yeah, I really want to play them. I feel like at this point, like if you hold out, in the next five years, they, they will do a surely remake, do right? like a, an HD remaster. On the Switch? Yeah, because those games would look incredible yes. on that. And also with controls that work. Because the problem with the Wii U, ver I'm sorry, right. the Wii version is that they made them all motion control. Oh, I, I that never that control. Oh, I hated oh, it. Oh, I think they were superior oh. with the Wii control. Did you ever play Resident Evil 4 on Wii? Yeah, great. Uh, so do you also like so the controls aim. there? Is that yes. a similar vibe in terms of like the fidelity of control? Yeah. All right, then yeah. I'll, but I'll, it's all, Metro Prime's also a, f a first person right, game, so. Right. But you're still like moving your arm around yes. to aim, right? Yeah. Well, that'll be fine. That stuff hurts my wrist. Mm. That's I'm fair. An old lady. Sure. That stuff fair. hurts my wrist. Should you heal by eating the radishes? Yeah. Top left. Oh no, is that? So that's the other guy's life in the top left. Oh, it is. That yeah. Was Otis. Yeah. That's not your life, is it? Look at the little. Maybe he does have life. <laughs> Every time you chuck it down, you. Maybe that icon is just like that's my current partner. I don't know. Yeah. Oh damn! Yeah, All right, no, I'm, yeah, that is my health. You got countered. I think it might be. Um, maybe that's like your base oh, health, that's, and that's like yeah. additional health. That's just showing uh, you who your stuff. dude is. Oh my! You're trapped now. I mean, my Zenny. I mean, a boss is coming on. Probably. Oh. So are you enjoying the game? Is it fun to play as well as? I mean, we're still in the tutorial section. Like, I'm oh, okay. excited to get past the area that I've seen. Right. Um, when the mechanics unlock a little nice bit. Nice shot. Huh. We're going to get stuff blowing in <laughs> every time that door opens. Yeah, well, there's a, a door that people can't <laughs> see. A little bit of wind a, there. A bunch of plates of Carl's Jr. fly oh, in our God. face. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's it. That'll be a good moment. I've done this in Skyrim. Yeah, there you go. I like that. Nice. This Skyrim Simple. Special Edition is out. 
That is out. We have a code. But I already played like 200 hours of that game. Right. I don't know if I can uh, go back. I'll at least dip in. I'm curious about it on the consoles to see. I like to see what it I looks see, like. I want to see that. I want to see the mod integration. Mm. So it's interesting how they like the difference in that on PS4 and Xbox One is size limits. Right. Like it's five. Mm. It's one gig on Xbox or no, one gig on PS4, five uh -huh. gigs on Xbox One. Weird. Yeah. Do they have. Oh. I think there, I think there are also it? there's some maybe some copyright restrictions and stuff. Oh. Sony is just. Uh, a little bit more. It's much more uh, limiting uh, on that. Gotta, um, sometimes, you know, we live in a litigious world, I guess. You got to be a little careful. Well, and I think uh, Microsoft probably, you know, if they were to swap positions right. sales-wise, they probably would have adopted a similar thing. Totally. Tool. But so Microsoft sees an opportunity, like, to get headlines and say, totally. you can find a way to make this work because this it's makes worth this it. look good. Yep. So did Sony, because there was a piece on Motherboard a while ago that Sony were basically saying they weren't supporting multiple. Yeah, they and then they came down out and, that. yeah, that. And that's the basically, like, threw them under the bus and played the PR game, which was, we're yeah. going to publicly say, you're not letting us do this. And yep. then, um, hopefully that would get them to change yeah. their mind. And it and clearly, seemed, at the very, it right. worked. Yep. See, I never, I never finished Skyrim. No, me but, either. But, but I, I still played hundreds of hours. I played quite a lot, like about 40, 40 odd hours. Ooh. But, um, Go get that chest. Like post Witcher and everything, I'm just looking at it going, I don't think I want to do that kind of game again. Which is, some oh. people love its clunkiness. It's yeah, a bit, yeah, you know, yeah. Those fit, it fits a slightly different spot for me. Like yeah. Witcher for me is very tuned in gaming. I'm very like aware of what I'm doing and yeah. like really want to pay close attention. That's Skyrim cool. is a thing I can lose Skyrim. myself in to recover yeah. from like a long day right. or whatever. See, Scott, Witcher was always that for me. Just like yeah. go into that world for a bit, do all the side things. Right. You know, find. Find your stuff. I actually went back to it just before Blood and Wine, and uh, found a whole new like. I, there was a whole island I hadn't been to. Oh wow! In Skelga for some reason. I just got there and there was a. I'm, I'm sure people watching will know this. Like that, you know, there was a quest where some magician, some sorcerer, just put a tower on the island. I didn't know what it was about, and I was like, How have I played this for a hundred hours that. and not been here? I, I really need to play more Witcher Three. It's, it's beautiful. It's, especially the DLC that I hear is really good. Oh, the, yeah, the one of this year. I think great. it could be Goaty this year too. Was Hashtag Cody last Goody. year could be good. Yeah, again. why not? Could be Looks a, like Dan Reichert is in chat. Uh, what's, uh, talking uh, about breakfast food the, versus lunch food. Can we get the mod? Oh, he doesn't like breakfast food. Yeah, I'm gonna ban Dan. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> mods. Mods. Can mods. I get some mods in here? We got mods. mods. Hashtag mods. Mom mod. Um, Brec breakfast, breakfast food the versus meal lunch food. Breakfast is an amazing meal. I love breakfast. Breakfast food. is the most versatile meal too because it's good at You're lunch right. and it's good at dinner. It's good at dinner. It's good in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, I, don't want, I, don't want a, I don't want. I don't want like. Uh, I love steaks. I love steaks. I don't necessarily want. No. Sometimes you could get a steak, steak for with breakfast. Eggs. Yeah, you can do that. That's the thing about breakfast. What do you want? Because if you want dinner shit, you can make a breakfast shit. So that's is right. this the qualifier for breakfast? Then, if you put an egg on something, that's good. That's breakfast. Yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna go with. Yeah, that. pretty much. That's good. Yeah. yeah. You want a pizza? Oh, Never makes yeah. an egg on it. Crack an egg on it. You're done. You're done, you're uh, good. Dirty Dan gets doked. We've all had <laughs> Pretty happy about that. Good. Glad I read that's, that's that the name comment. of my Red Shoe Diaries episode. <laughs> good. It's a deep cut. <laughs> Your chat's gonna pick up these Red Shoe Diaries jokes? <laughs> uh, uh, come on, a bunch of David Duco early David Duchovny hosting duty yeah. uh, fans. Good. Pre-X-Files. Look it up, or don't, maybe don't. What's your favorite pre-X-Files David Duchovny thing? <laughs> I don't know, I, all I know is Red Shoe Diaries. Oh, uh, what else is he in? Peaks. That's right. He's great he's in season two, though, right? Season I haven't watched season two. I've only seen season what? one. I watched. I you watched I, the beginning of season two. No, not yet. What? I'm waiting until the premiere date for oh, season no. three, and I'm gonna. You need to roll finish in. season two now, cause season two gets bad, and you need to like. I want to be closer. I want to be in twenty okay. mode. Okay. Yeah. So you don't know. Who, you don't know. No. Oh my. All right. No. I shouldn't have even said that. I won't Delete look that it up. from Twitch. I won't look at it. But up. no one tell him. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be mad at whoever, if anyone spoils anything for Patrick. Yeah, don't look at chat probably for a little while. But David Duchovny's in season two. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah I, and, I definitely know that. And makes a character who is not written super well. Very compelling. Not very compelling. Compelling. Um, half compelling. Interesting. Entertaining. <laughs> Jokey. He. He's there. He does more with that character, I think, than he was given. Okay. Is what I'll say. But I could be I could be wrong. Dan Riker just texted me to say eggs are okay. <laughs> I'm glad. What's what, what's what Dan? Is, what right? Everyone go over to Twitter and, and tell Dan Riker that breakfast is good actually. 
Yeah, I think that's that's wise. Twitter.com slash Dan Reichert, R Y C K E R T. I get not liking eggs or li like or liking, liking eggs. Like, I, I, can you eggs are okay is like a w weird stance to take. It's like non committal, nothing. Well, cause also because eggs take so many forms. Yeah. Right, I could get not liking runny eggs and just liking scrambled eggs. Right. Yes. Well, like, so he's not tried a lot of eggs. I was with him when he tried his first, like, over medium or over easy egg ever. And that was like last year. I've only recently come around on that type of Oh, egg. I love I was it. Anti that egg, but now it's beautiful. Put it on toast. Put it on toast or get toast. Put that over your Dip steak. it in. Oh my God. Oh, Forget about it. Stuff, but it's Forget okay. about it. That's it's all right. You know, it's great. I love eggs when they're super cooked. He says, I never said it's not good. This is still through, through texting. <laughs> We're just having this fight now. He couldn't be here with us today. Uh, I never said it's not good. It's just not lunch. Is lunch? Like, That's not an answer. But an omelet can be lunch. An omelet could be brunch. It sure could. I think if you. I feel like the thing is, I would never say lunch is my favorite meal of the day. Because it's not. It, there's nothing that defines lunch as a meal. I also just don't get time to eat lunch very often these days. But, but think about like when you think what is lunch food? A sandwich maybe. Right, tacos. A sandwich. Tacos you can eat for dinner, but like I feel like a sandwich you tend to not eat for. For dinner, dinner. I'll, I'll eat a sandwich. I'll, I for will. Dinner. I just feel like. If you're gonna put it in a category, like if it's you're gonna not demonstrative, Excel sheet, um, I'm probably gonna put sandwiches in the lunch category. Yeah, someone in the chat says omelet is anytime food, and like dog. Yeah, I kind of agree. Well, an omelet is getting from agree. the pub food as well. Like, you, know, uh, you just you, throw wait, stuff in a pan. There it is. Yeah, because yeah. omelets can also be used with leftovers okay. in yeah. a way that he is confirms, so. Yes. Dan Riker confirms that dinner is his favorite. Dinner is the best. I respect that. I respect that. I respect I that. I can't fuck with but lunch. Just take a position. Right. Don't give me this nonsense about yeah. Breakfast is good. Oh, but oh. breakfast. You know, is I great. think we have to break the out of this. This is a waypoint position. Is that breakfast, breakfast is great? Breakfast is good. I think the thing is we have to get. No, I don't think I'm not. I'm not. No, you're wrong. Because we're, we have to break out of the shitty food binary about what's the best and what's the worst. They serve different functions. Right. This is non-binary breakfast. Non-binary. You know, brunch is the most non-binary of, of all, all meals. meals. Yeah, totally. It sits right. Yeah, totally. Who does the spectrum? I feel like we're really meals are we're getting are somewhere. Today. This isn't a joke. This is. This is. This we this should. Is... I'm fucking done with binaries in general. Yeah, I, I, me too. And is this them. your 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 thesis? It's one of them. It's already been one of them. One of many. No, but like I feel like breakfast does something different for you. Than what dinner does, or than what lunch yeah, does. Yeah, it, it, it should it break your fast. You for the day. Right, it's or, the best me or the most meal. right, exactly. Whereas brunch knocks you out, like, and it that's does. the same type of food. It's just it's just positioned differently next to a Bloody Mary, <laughs> and then it's just like a nice nap food. There you I'm go. So, Are you eating eggs Benedict before 11 a.m. ever? Like honestly. No. Exactly. I'm only eating. Well, that's the other thing about breakfast food. That's the other thing we have to have this conversation as separate. Is like breakfast versus breakfast. food. Food, mm. which, as you said, it could be yes. eaten at any time. Yeah. Yes. Breakfast food late at night when you're like you've been out at a party or something. Like you go to a diner. Oh my God. What are you What are you doing? You don't go to a diner and eat a big heavy burger. You don't no. eat a big like you could, I guess. You if you eat an omelet or breakfast. pancakes. Or pancakes. Yes. You get like that meat omelet. So like I don't even know what's in here. This mm. is just garbage that I'm putting in my mouth. All right. <laughs> All right. He's. Oh my God. His favorite meal is snacks. Good. Dan Record. Uh, Texted me to say, actually, better than dinner, snacks. God That's, damn it. That feels like a very Dan position. It is. Yeah. yeah. He has now come around and says, breakfast is good, also. <laughs> I, I don't know what so to we, do with this we, guy. So, Ed, we won. We won. We did it. Ignore the snack thing. We Ignore won. the snack breakfast thing. Breakfast is good. Breakfast is good. Hey. That Waypoint's new slogan. Yeah. Breakfast is good. Breakfast is Why good. we breakfast? Here at Waypoint, we're interested in how and why we eat breakfast. Yeah, next week we're running a series of essays about our favorite breakfast foods. You know. We've run some food articles. There's a really good article on Waypoint about the milk in the Zelda games. There's a really good article from Todd Harper about food in Vanillaware games and why it's like so beautifully yes. done. Um, We've done some food essays. We also, this is a great time to talk about, we are going to have some food games. <laughs> We are going to have food games tomorrow. We're going to have at 12, I believe. Helen, uh, it's in the afternoon. It's in there. It's in there. What are we asking about? Uh, the, the special food block of games that we're going to be playing tomorrow is one. One to two. That's what I meant to say. Helen and Hillary. Our very exciting Mario Kart 64 tournament. Right. We're having a Mario Kart 64 That's tournament. That's an announcement. I'm, I'm saying this again because I don't know if Danica's mic on this segment or not. <laughs> Good. Um, we're going to have a Mario 64 tournament tomorrow at uh, from 11 to 1. 
yes. with all the different vice verticals. I think it's the first ever Waypoint Mario Kart Invitational. Yes, it's gonna um, be good. We won't compete, we're just gonna see what happens. There's gonna be a whole lot of uh, commentary, right. I think. Absolutely, us. very yeah. esports, very buttoned up. Yeah. And then at one, Helen and Hillary from Munchies, which is uh, our food site here at Vice, they're gonna come through, we're gonna play some some games that have food in them, maybe. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be we'll good. It's gonna cooked. it's gonna whet your we'll appetite. Yeah. For whatever comes next. Nice. After good. that. You like good. that one? Yeah. This is taking a turn for the for the dramatic. For the for the evil. Oh boy. Oh, Owl boy. <laughs> Do you think he'll turn into an owl man at any point? Uh, that's Throughout this journey, this apple, hero's apple journey? Spoil the post credit <laughs> scene. In fact, maybe... Sorry. Owl man just sounds maybe like Maybe we from... should be careful about what we're spoiling. You're right. Maybe after this, we'll get ready to take uh, another little break. So I think we have a guest coming on shortly. Oh, okay. yes. Is that correct? So are you Is that at for me? guest? You're the one with a computer and a spreadsheet. <laughs> it's, that's good, yeah. So let's get through this segment and then we'll, we'll go to oh, another I see. break. Don't get hit by the spotlights. I like it. Owl teen. Good. Good. Yep. I'm looking to see if our guest is here. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's I guess an important thing to We know. can only call him guest because we don't want to say too much. Special guest. Special guest. Well, let's not. Wow. Let's, come on. <laughs> We're trying to bring guests on. Yes. He's a guest. He's here. I just got to make him feel special. Guest of the he, show. He needs to prove that he's special. That's not a that's not a designation oh. that comes out of Oh my. And they are gonna shoot. I stuff. like the dramatic music. That's yeah. good. Yeah, the tracks on this are really yeah. good so far. They're not gonna get through there, are you? Probably to the right. I'm gonna guess. Oh, yeah. We should note that we don't have a podcast out this week. No. So just think about the last hour is basically being a podcast. Yeah. Talk Owl Boy. Yeah. It'll be the headline. We yeah. talked Owl Boy, Breakfast Foods, and Here's our, No, we're gonna take we're gonna take the whole 72 hours and just put it out as one podcast. That's it. Cool. Fill your feeds. That was your 72 hour your game. download. So, you exactly. know, you weren't misspeaking right there at the very beginning, Austin. My guest just messaged me to say, we are running late, I am ruining your life. Good. <laughs> so we're just keep going. So I was right when I said, he's not special. Wow. You know what, special guests show up on it's time. It's his birthday. Oh. It's actually his birthday. Oh my God. You trying to make me feel bad? We're trying to make you feel a little, a little He has little to bad. feel special even bad. if he isn't then. Well, well then birthday. he's a special boy, not a special guest. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we'll appreciate do we have that. cake? Do we need cake? Oh, I don't think we have any good cake. Good question. <laughs> Does he want some Carl's Jr.? So we have Carl's Jr. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm in the mood for a burger at this point. We could, we could get yeah. some burgers. I'm gonna get an ETA on this guest situation. Yeah, good, good. We might have to stretch, right? Just, we should be stretching. Danielle told us to make sure we yes, stretch. Yes, oh. I actually did. So. I did. All We're right. gonna be stretching. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely the kind of stretching I meant. I'm we probably going to be, uh, start limbering up on camera. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to go down. Get those muscles. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. the 2 warm. to 30 block is going to be Danielle shadow boxing. Yeah, that, I mean, if, she, if Danielle can lead it us is. in like a in like a stretching yoga. I'm going to teach you how to punch. I, I know how to punch. Teach you how to punch real good with both fists. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'd be happy to Are do you that. Are like supposed to put your thumb? No, your thumb is on the outside. You got to wrap up. That's how you're going to break that thumb. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna yeah. hit right here, right here. Right there. You want your two knuckles and yeah. your strong knuckles. That's it. Right there, That's man. all that power. Yeah. Just, they are strong. It's and like good, you strong your, your whole body to turn into that punch. I actually worked out in a phone booth here at this office last night. Like yeah. I got some weird looks, but it was totally worth it. Because I felt Did good. They think you were trying to change <laughs> into some kind of outfit. They're or probably like, like, what is wrong with this woman? She's punching the air in a phone booth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, our, our, our guest is in a lift right now. Good. In a lift right. in a hotel? What? In a lift. Oh, that's a, it's car like, service. it's a car service. He's in a car service right now. I shouldn't have said the name brand, probably. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I just like, I thought, yeah, they just, just give service. you an update from a lift. <laughs> I'm in the lift. <laughs> yeah. Which lift? I'm, I'm, I'm in we the should lift. name something boot here so we can talk about somebody who's in a boot right now. A boot. So that you can laugh at them being, you know, the victim of a mob. Let's see if this I works. This say, might yeah. not work. You know, that's your trunk, right? That's where you go. Yeah, it's yeah. trunk. Calling him? Oh, I'm calling our special guest to put him on blast live. We're, we're, we're doing live it. live with Owlboy and guests here today. Chat can tell us if this is working. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Eric Pope. Am I? How, how you doing, Austin? I'm mad at you. On black. I'm like I'm half. The world. Uh, it's your birthday today. Yeah, it's so far been a great birthday. 
That's the only reason I'm going to let you slide, and, and it's okay that we, uh... <laughs> no, you should not let me slide. We're not letting the traffic around us slide. Where are you at in New York? Uh, well, we're Describe we're your like surroundings. Des we're on Park Ave at the moving supply store. You're at a... Storage. Okay, okay. Uh, we're under an overpass of sorts. Okay. Under a highway. We can make that work. We'll just do this the whole time. <laughs> are we on the stream right now? Yeah, you're live on stream. T Chad is saying happy oh, birthday great. to you as we speak. <laughs> who's, uh, who's with you? Who's around? Uh, Patrick Ooh. is with me. Patrick's, no, no Patrick's gone. <laughs> Danielle Riendo. Hi. Danielle is here. Hi, Eric. And Danielle is cool. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Mike Diver, live from Thanks. all the way far away from me. Happy birthday. He says happy birthday. How's, how's, how's How's the show going so far? It's go I, think it's, I think it's going well. It was, re it was going really well until this moment. He, Patrick says it was going well until this moment. Dad is disappointed. You made it a couple hours in without anyone ruining your schedule? Yeah, well, you know. You know how things go sometimes. <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll get through this next zone, and then we'll take a break and let Eric Pope's car get here, and then when he gets here, he can teach us about swords. Before you go, though, I need to know, Eric, What's your favorite meal of the day? Oh, this is big. My favorite meal of the day? Yes. Uh, well, since uh, this is not going to make your New York friends happy, but since moving to Montreal, uh, breakfast has become... Breakfast? Do we have breakfast? Breakfast. You're, breakfast. You know what? All of all sins forgiven. Breakfast is good. Yep. <laughs> we're going uh, uh, to take a quick break, and when we, we come back, Eric Pope will have gotten out of a car and joined us here on the couch to show us how swords work. Okay. Okay? Okay. Is that, okay. is that good? All right. Bye. Let's hope everything works. Well, let, let's hope. <laughs> I don't know if we're clear or not yet, but... That's good. 